If you're an introvert going out attending a meeting or social function, take some time beforehand to Hey there introverts, are you tired of hearing that you need to be an outgoing extrovert to succeed in making money? Well, we have great news for you. In this video, we're going to explore how being an introvert can actually be a unique advantage when it comes to making money. So grab a cup of tea, find a cozy spot, and let's dive in. Introverts have generally been pushed around, taking advantage of made to feel that they are less than extroverts. Modern day psychologists and people on a whole tend to want to paint introverts in a different light. As people who are shy, they lack assertiveness, and they are not sociable. But none of this is true. Being an introvert is not a disadvantage. An introvert is no less of an asset than an extrovert is. You can use your introverted personality type to your advantage. And here's how. Embrace your strengths. As an introvert, you possess many strengths that can contribute to your success. You want to use your natural ability to listen and observe to your advantage. Introverts are often great listeners and are adept at picking up on details that others may overlook. This skill is valuable in various fields such as market research, content creation. Let me take that again. Content creation and customer service. Embrace your strengths and recognize how they can set you apart from the crowd. You need to play to your strengths. As an introvert, you may excel in activities that require focus, creativity, independent work. Identify your unique skills and your interests and make sure you pick side hustles that align with them. For example, if you enjoy writing, consider freelance writing or blogging. You have great strengths and your strengths are an asset. Don't let anyone tell you otherwise. As an introvert who is a high achiever, you can sometimes do the work of two or three people and finish before everybody else. As an introvert, you might be able to do eight hours of work in two or three hours. The fact that you can focus and think is a great blessing and don't let anyone tell you otherwise. Next, you want to leverage your creativity. Introverts tend to have rich inner worlds and vivid imagination. This creativity can be a powerful asset when it comes to making money. Consider pursuing creative endeavors such as writing, painting, graphic design, and photography. These skills can be monetized through freelance work, selling your artwork, or starting a creative online business. Do not underestimate the power of your imagination and the unique perspectives you bring to the table. Develop your online presence. This is another one you want to do as an introvert. In today's digital age, you don't have to rely solely on in person interactions to make money. Use your introverted nature to your advantage by building an online presence. Create a website or a blog to showcase your expertise in a specific niche. Use social media platforms to connect with like-minded individuals and potential clients or customers. Online platforms will allow introverts to network and market themselves in a more comfortable and controlled environment. It's totally okay to hide behind the computer screen and never have to show your face. Take advantage of the internet to find remote jobs or online side hustles. There are numerous opportunities available, such as virtual assistant, graphic design, coding, tutoring. Online platforms like freelancing, websites, job boards, all of these things can help you connect with potential clients. And if you need more specific examples, this video right here is a good one to watch and it's only six minutes long. Next, you want to harness the power of deep connections. Introverts tend to thrive in one-on-one -on -one or small group settings. Rather than spreading yourself thin, trying to network as many people as possible, you want to focus on building deep and meaningful co connections. Cultivate relationships with individuals who align with your values and professional goals. These authentic connections can lead to collaborations, referrals, and long-term partnerships. Quality over quantity is the introvert's secret weapon learning if you're an introvert going out to a function if you know you'll be attending maybe a meeting or social function take some time beforehand to gather information or familiarize yourself with the agenda and the topics of discussion you want to prepare one or two really good strong questions relating to the meeting that you can ask if by any chance you get a question from the leader asking you do you have any questions this can help you feel more confident and prepared your ideas are important just because you tend to be on the quiet side doesn't mean you don't have much to say your voice is important you also want to arrive early because arriving early can help you ease into the environment before it becomes too crowded or overwhelming you want to use this time to get comfortable find a seat that suits you preferably a seat on the second or third row towards the front and observe the surroundings i know you might be thinking but rich 
I'm an introvert. Why would I want to sit close to the front? Would I want to sit in the back so I can hide and nobody will call on me? Sounds like a good plan, but not quite. You see, when you sit at the front, you are sending a message. You are saying that I'm not afraid. I'm here to make a contribution and I'm here to learn. When you sit up front, you are saying I'm important and you are showing that you care about what's going on here and that you are a leader. So move up as close as possible to where you can be seen even if you don't say anything. Your very presence is saying a lot. Next, you wanna create an introvert friendly work environment. When it comes to making money, it's crucial to create a work environment that suits your introverted nature. Don't let anybody tell you that you need to be more of a people person and you need to put yourself out there more. You need to spend more time with people. No, it's not your strength. I find that too many people hate their jobs and want to quit. It's not because work is bad or that they hate work. Because these same people will work 16 hour days on their business or on their side hustles. It's simply because they're in the wrong environment. You need to designate a quiet and comfortable space where you can focus and recharge. Establish boundaries and structure your work schedule to allow for ample alone time. Find balance between engaging with others and having time for introspection. Introverts often need time for solitude. You want to ensure that your side hustle doesn't overwhelm you and leave enough space for self-care. Create a schedule that allows for appropriate breaks, quiet time and reflection so you can maintain a healthy work-life balance. By creating a work environment that supports your introverted tendencies, you'll be able to perform at your best and maximize your earning potential. Being an introvert doesn't mean you're at a disadvantage when it comes to making money. So, fellow introvert, go out there and show the world how you can make money while staying true to yourself. Subscribe to the channel for more inspiring content like this. Share your thoughts and your experiences in the comments below.